Lucy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to be using our Yepo paper card, should I say, um, alcohol inks, and then we're going to be using our alcohol lift technique onto our multifarious card, onto this card here. That's our matte card, and we'll be taking a print of our Yepo. So we're going to decorate that first with the alcohol inks. So I'm going to just pick a couple of colours now. So we've got, let's have a look, we've got Dijon. So let's pop a bit of that down. And we've got Meadow. And Eggplant as well. So this is our blending solution. I've just popped that into uh, a bottle with a nice fine nozzle and I'm now just going to pop that over the top and then taking the uh, Babyliss air dryer which is different from your heat gun. You don't really want heat going on to Yepo because it will just shrink and shrivel up because it's a synthetic card, it's like a plastic almost. Um, so you want a cooler heat um, and the Babyliss air dryer is perfect for this. So I'm just going to put it on a low setting and then just start blowing that around and moving all the inks. Um, I kind of keep, keep them contained, I just chase the colour around till I'm happy with it. If you're not happy, then you can add more blending solution over the top and it will start moving again. Okay, so at any point we can add more colour if we want. So I'm just going to add a little bit more eggplant down the bottom there. Put the blending solution on. So I'm going to use a smoothie now and some uh, blending solution and I'm just going to dip the tip in and I'm just going to bob some of that about Just gives us another effect, that's all uh, you'll see when I take the print. Okay. And of course, if we want to add more colour, we can just put a felt on our um, blending tool and then we can add a little bit of, let's add a little bit of meadow onto there. and just add that over the top and you can see how it starts to move 
and create this lovely sort of organic background. Okay, so I've got my background. Now I'm going to use the alcohol lift. So you need your brayer at hand and some alcohol lift and then you need your multifarious card. So I'm popping that to the side because we need to act quite quick when we put the alcohol lift ink over the top. So I'm just putting a line of that, it's quite thick, so just put a line across and then taking the brayer I'm just going to drag that down like so and be very gentle when you're doing that because otherwise you'll create lines. So give that a nice smooth over. Make sure that you've covered that whole area. And let's see what we've got. And you can see what a fabulous background that actually does give you. Just something straight away that we can work off. Almost looks like there's hills in the background there. So we're going to put that to the side now, let that dry. And then we're going to stamp on that. Okay, so we've got our background, our lovely background, um, ready to stamp onto. That's nice and dry now. So I've got a couple of stamps here. Um, we've got our um, dragonfly keepers. Uh, so I'm going to just bob that down on a block and we're going to ink it up in the nocturne. So this is going to be our focal point, so I'm going to ink her up in the black. Make sure she's completely covered and then we're just going to pop her down around about the centre and let that rest on the card. Let the ink soak in it's a silhouette so it's always worth being a little bit more patient. And there we go. So using the acetate now, I'm going to just pop that over the top and then grabbing a smoothie and the Twilight Versify. I'm going to just work my way around the edge. I don't want an awful lot on there. I'd rather build the colour up gradually as opposed to too much all at once. And that's when you get lines. So very, very gently work your way around the edge of the acetate. Okay, and that really does now make that stand out. And then we're going to stamp some trees down at the bottom here. So some nice fir trees, I think. So I've got my super tall one here. So let's stamp up with the warm breeze for this one. Now I might stamp off to start with, let's see how that works, yeah that's fine because I want to bring in um, a, a deeper colour um, at the front. So again ink up, stamp off and I'll just pop that along there as well. Okay. Thank you. 
So let's put some smaller trees at the front. So we've got twilight here. So inking up. I'm just going to pop that down. slightly smaller one um, and what colour shall we go with this time let's go with the monarch and I'm going to stamp that one off just to balance that colour. Those colours work really well together actually. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a few words around the edge. So this is one of our fairy verses. And what colour shall we do? Let's do the twilight but stamp off so it's not too strong. So ink that up, stamp off. And that's just enough without it being too overpowering. Okay, so lastly, I'm just going to go around the edge now. Just bringing in a little bit of depth down at the bottom here. In fact, all the way around. And this really does pull your eye into the centre. So lastly, I think I'm just going to take um, one of our jelly roll pens. This is our copper, copper sparkle one this. And I'm going to go around the edge of the moon. Following that line all the way around. Okay. And then lastly, we need a little bit of glitter, just a little bit. Just popping it over the very tops of the trees. Just carefully dotting little tiny dots. We don't want too much, we don't want it to be too overpowering. So, and then I'm going to just sprinkle that over the top and the finer glitter will stick to the VersaFine as well. I think that gives a fabulous finish. I hope you can see that guys. I think that's like just a really nice sort of wintry, even though it's a colourful scene, it's muted sort of heather colours. So maybe autumn going into winter.
Thanks for joining me guys. You take care and we'll speak to you real soon.